Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah Korn and in today's video we're going to be doing a very exciting scale figure unboxing. So I have this box here, uh, which is a little deceiving. No, I did not get water, I did get a scale figure. This was shipped through Baiyi. Um, so the scale figure I have in here is actually one of my grails. I had no intentions of purchasing her. She's still going for pretty high resale prices and I didn't think I'd be able to afford this figure at any point but I got very lucky on Baiyi and I actually found a broken one as you guys probably know I don't have any problems buying broken figures so long as the brakes don't have anything to do with like the integrity of the whole figure like if it's something wrong with the base or anything like that then I definitely wouldn't recommend but the brakes on this figure were actually super small um, the seller in the listing said that there was actually an earthquake, which really sucks, and the figure fell off their shelf, and uh, one of the crowns on this figure kind of broke off, and then there's a few scuffs on her, but like, nothing major. So guys, just in a second here, I'm going to unbox this, and then we're gonna get on into the actual details for this figure. So I've been looking for this figure for quite a while actually, um, again, every time I see the high prices I've just been like, now it's not the time, especially since I did get another very expensive girl figure recently. Um, Alright guys, we're just taking her out of the box here, she is all nice and bubble wrapped. It'll probably be pretty hard to tell with the light reflecting off of the wrap there, but you can kind of see a preview of what we're looking at here. I've seen this figure like a million times on Instagram. It is so pretty and so elaborate, and I've always wanted it, um, and I'm so glad that I actually got the chance to find one for so cheap. So guys, as for the details for this figure, um, this is the Is the Order a Rabbit Phantom Thief Lapin 17th scale figure by Stronger. Um, that's the title for this figure, but as we all know, this is actually Ciaro uh, in her Phantom Thief Lapin costume. In the show, she looks a lot like Phantom Thief Lapin, uh, which is why the two are referenced together quite often. And I like that they actually included two rabbits in this figure too. They have Anko, which is the mascot for Ama Usa An Cafe, run by Chia and her family. And then they also have Wild Geese, which is probably the most charismatic rabbit in the show, um, who ends up being Ciara's pet at some point, even, even though she's like super terrified of rabbits, which I think is really funny. Um, that said, guys, let's get on to actually opening the bubble wrap here. All right, so just taking the knife. Placing the tape on the top. So they have like this plastic protective layer all on the outside, and then under that there is the bubble wrap. I love this figure already, just by the first glimpse of it. As you can kind of see through the bubble wrap there. Alright guys, so that bubble wrap was actually a little difficult to take off, so I took it off off camera. Here she is, and I'm absolutely in love with this packaging. It is beautiful, it is bold. I love all of the cute cutouts on the side. I'll of course give you close-ups of the box later, but as you can see here, it's quite the elaborate figure with a lot of like little effect pieces, so of course when it fell, it makes sense that something would break off. Um, this figure is my first stronger scale figure, actually, and I think it was a good one to start with. It's absolutely stunning. So to go into details on price on her, because I know I've been talking about how expensive she normally is, um, 
just to give you some context here, this figure is currently on Solaris Japan for 33,212 yen, which is around 367.72 Canadian, which is a lot. That is in brand new condition. And then in pre-owned condition, she is 295.77 Canadian, which is 26,714 yen. I've seen this figure go on Ami Ami for 22,480 yen in AB condition, which is around 247.49 Canadian. Also found her a bunch on Bai in varying conditions, and normally she goes for pretty high prices. One example being this one listing that I found recently, where she is 28,900 yen, which is around 335. Um, 82 Canadian dollars, which is, again, a lot. As for the price that I got this one in, I actually found her, again, take into account she is broken, I got her for 12,222 yen, which is 141.66 Canadian, which is, like, a massive improvement from all of those other prices I just listed, like, not even close. So I was very happy to pay that price for this figure. Um, that was pretty much the only way I was going to get her anytime soon. I do not have like $367 just to throw out on a figure on a whim. Um, that The only way I could get something that expensive would be through pre-orders and using options like Sezzle. Get off in separate payments. Um, yeah, I, I don't have that money just to drop all at once randomly on a figure. So to find her in this condition for this price, I was more than happy to get her. I bought her basically as soon as I saw her. I checked out the listing, checked out the buyer's reviews just to make sure everything was good. They showed pictures. And yeah, basically the only issue is the crown fell off and she's got a few scuffs on her, which as you've seen with some of my other figures, like normally fixes like that are super easy. So I have no problems with that. With that said guys, let's get on into actually unboxing her. Alright guys, so Hannah from the next day just popping in to say, um, obviously I bought this figure here through Bai JP on Mercari Japan. Um, Bai's shipping prices can be insane depending on where you are, so if you're considering buying from them and you've never bought for them before, just know that the shipping prices really vary place to place and you should probably look into it, see if there's anyone in your area that has purchased from them before because like I know for this figure here I didn't have to pay very much at all but I've heard like a lot of people say that they've had to pay pretty much the price of the figure for shipping so just be wary of that. So guys, just thought I'd mention it now. You'll probably see an outfit change here because I'm going to unbox her right away here um and again because she's broken i'm going to assemble her as best as i can glue the pieces and then i'll be back in 24 hours to show you guys what she looks like all glued back together so there will be a bit of an outfit change but it'll be seconds for you guys and a day for me with that said let's get on into it Alright guys, so now that I've shown you all the close-ups of this box, 
let's get into actually unboxing here. Again, this is the Is the Order a Rabbit Phantom Thief Lape, one seventh scale figure by Stronger. It is again of Ciaro dressed in the Phantom Lape costume. So let's get straight on into it. Lighting her out. Firstly, at the very bottom, I see her instruction sheet. So guys, as you can see, the inside of the box is actually very cute. It's just a simple pattern, but I think it's pretty cute and it suits the theme of the show quite a bit. Then here we have Ciaro in her blister pack. First things first, I'm just going to trim around the edge in case there's any tape. I'm not entirely sure, considering this is pre-owned and already opened, obviously. First up, guys, we have the base here with the foot peg. Next up, we're going to get on to the actual figure. So here guys in this bag is the crown that broke off. This is supposed to attach to her cape, which should be a simple fix. Um, as you can see just in that little spot there, that is where it came off and where I'll have to reattach it to the cape. Alright guys, so first bunny here is wild geese and he looks absolutely adorable you can see his little scar on that eye there the little details with the monocle and the little cape oh my goodness he is absolutely adorable the shading is really nice considering he's such a small little effect piece then might as well take out the next rabbit here, which is Anko. Anko here is holding a coin and he's got a crown of his own. Again, nice little flowing cape which has nice shading on it. And even though Anko's like a black bunny, there's still some nice shading on him so it's not like flat black. And then he's got a little stud in his tail there to go into the figure. Super cute. Next up we have this little gold thing. Um, I'm not sure if it's a teapot or what, but basically the whole theme of having all the coins and the crowns and the stuff like this in gold is because Obviously, Phantom Thief Lapin in the show is a, is a thief, right? And just miraculously is able to steal a bunch of stuff. So I'm sure that's where they're going with all this gold stuff in the figure. So guys, next up we have these two little masks here. I'm assuming they included two because it is such a small fragile piece in case one gets broken. Alright, the next up is this little player card. Which has a little rabbit on it, of course. Here we have a little plastic connector piece. Here we have one of the plastic heart effect pieces.
Here we have more coins. And then we of course have the main piece, the Sierra body, which she looks absolutely stunning. Her hair sculpt is super amazing. I love it and how the bows are like flying up. The airbrushing on the gloves is really cute. It's kind of airbrushed. Um, it's kind of got a white base with like pink airbrushing, which is super cute. Same with the skirt, it looks like there's a little bit of pink airbrushing. So firstly guys, as you can see in the skirt there, that is one of the scuffs they were talking about, which like when she's standing, you can barely see, and I'm not posing her from the back, so it doesn't matter to me. The cute little bunny tail. Um, all of the shading all over this cape is like super pretty too. They put a lot of attention into detail on this figure, obviously. And then one of the other scuffs that they marked is just this tiny one on her bangs, which, again, I don't care about. That's literally tiny. When you look at her from this far away, you can't even see it. And I love how they made her tights shiny. I love the stripes. Her shoes are super cute. So guys, here is everything all set up. Obviously, I'm not going to assemble it right now because I need to glue this back on. This just goes on the inside of her cape up here. So, I'll be back in 24 hours to show you this piece assembled. Alright guys, so just popping back in to show you Sierra here with the crown glued back on. I think I did a decent job. It doesn't look perfect, but it is back on in the right spot. And it was relatively easy to glue it back on and you know I just stuck it there with some tape as you pretty sure it stayed in the right spot and it's glued up all nicely so let's get to actually assembling this figure all right guys so here we are we're gonna start assembling um, firstly I'm going to put this golden teapot situation in the back here can lay. I'm going to take Anko here and stick him in this one in the front. Thirdly, which is the hard part here, is that Ciara here has studs on this foot to go onto the base there. And then on her other foot here, she's got areas where I'm supposed to stick these pieces in and put the bunnies in. So I think firstly I'm going to put her on the base as best as I can to secure her. And then I'm going to try and put all those other effect pieces on her other foot. So, firstly, I'm taking this little joint here, sticking it in the bottom, and then I'm supposed to stick wild geese on top of that. So that goes in there like that, and then wild geese is supposed to be sitting on this. And then in Wild Geese's hand, we're going to put the playing card. Just like that. And this coin here sticks out the bottom of her shoe. So we have to put that in the other hole there. Oops. We'll have to put that card on last, I think. Because it's most flimsy. It doesn't really get secure. This little coin here just goes in the base. There's a small little black hole right near Sierra's shoe there. Alright guys, sorry about that. Camera cut out for just a brief moment there. We are back. I put the coin in the back there. Next up, we have this heart effect piece that goes in Sierra's hand here. Which 
I gotta be very careful with. I really don't want to break this because this is like one of my favorite parts about this figure here. That's always the struggle, right? Trying to make it secure but not break it. I think that looks good. Alright guys, so next up we have this mask piece here, which just goes in here. Just kind of got to squish it between her fingers there. But she's holding it in her palm. Looks secure there. Then lastly, because the player card fell off, we're just going to put this right back on. So that Wild Geese is holding it. There's arm there, so that the foot kind of blocks it. And there she is, all assembled. Now we're gonna do some close-ups. So guys, first impressions of this figure is that she's absolutely stunning while she's here all assembled. Like, it was a little bit of work, especially with all those tiny little pieces. As you can see, everything's kind of jutting out on an angle, kind of haphazardly. Um, but it looks amazing, like, in the end. And I'm glad that I was able to glue the crown on pretty well. Um, as you can see here, it looks pretty good. And getting her for such a discount for that small issue, like, is amazing. She looks absolutely stunning here. I don't think you can even tell she was ever broken um, from this far away anyways. So that is great. Honestly, Stronger did like such a good job on this. I love her eyes. The hair sculpt again is like one of my favorites on any of my figures. I feel like Ranko Kanzaki from Fat Company, that figure's hair sculpt is equally amazing. But this one is definitely standout in my collection, that's for sure, as far as hair sculpts go. Just how beautiful all these little strands are and the shading and the bows. This heart effect piece is just absolutely stunning. It definitely is a make or break for the piece, so I'm glad that this wasn't the piece that got broken when the earthquake hit them. I mean, it sucks for them that an earthquake hit and she fell off the shelf and they wanted to sell it, but... I'm very grateful that I was able to get her. I love just how much movement this piece has, how many little, you know, secrets there are hiding all around here. There's so many little details and all together it is absolutely... Let me know what you guys think of her down below.
right guys, so I'm going to bring you in closer for some of these details that may be missed from afar. Here, we have our hair sculpt from the back. We've got the gorgeous cape here, which is super flowy. I love all of the shading. Again, they didn't do just flat black. All the shading's really nice. Same with the pink in there, or the crown that I glued back on. And, and even like the ruffles on her shirt in the back. Such a nice detail, and the ruffles on the skirt look gorgeous. Um, again, there's just a little scuff on the back here in the skirt there. As you can see, which I don't mind at all. Then back up front again, her gorgeous hair sculpt from the front angle. Then you've got her beautiful eyes. Again, the shirt wrinkles on the front. Super nice and detailed. So the different colors on her buttons. All of the ruffles of the skirt and the sleek brown pink tights are super cute. We have Anko here with all of his little shading. And Wild Geese who even has like a little pattern on his hat. He does have a small scuff as you can see there on his hat when the figure fell, but not a huge deal. Even the little gems in the coins, like they're super detailed. Overall, I'm super happy with all of the little details on this figure and like as a whole, I mean, she's beautiful. She's definitely warranted grail status and I'm so glad that I was actually able to get her and she's definitely like one of my favorite pieces in my collection right now like she is so freaking pretty all right guys that is everything for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give this video a like comment down below subscribe to the channel it would mean a lot to me just some final thoughts on the Ciaro figure here obviously I am in love with her i am like still like so shocked that i was able to get her for such a good price i mean obviously this figure normally goes for quite a bit and i can see why um the base itself is probably my least favorite thing it's still nice but compared to the rest of the figure it is very simple and it doesn't feel very expensive for how expensive the figure normally retails for and the after price goes for this is my first stronger figure and it will not be my last. I am very impressed with the quality of this figure. I love all of the little details, the hair sculpt, the face sculpt, her pose, the little rabbits, like everything was so good on this figure. And again, for having such a minor break, like the little crown coming off and a few scuffs on the back, which I'm not displaying her from the back, so I don't really care. Um, I consider myself very lucky, you know, with the retail prices going around 300 and I got her at 145 I consider that like a steal and I'm very lucky I was able to get her because she was one of my grails and I never thought I'd be able to get her anytime soon and I just got really lucky. Uh, with that said guys, we will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.